Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to God's Holy Seven Channel. I'm Sister Barbara and Brother Dale today, and we're reading some prophecies. And yes, we have Jasmine here again. So if you hear crunching or laughing, she's behind us on the computer. So we're going to be in the New King James Version Study Bible. I am going to be first in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 11 to 16. 11 to 16. The passage is called The Whole Armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Go a little further. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in spirit, being watchful to the end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints and for me, that utterance may be given to me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, and in it I speak boldly as I ought to speak. So the devil, he's after us. Glad to be here again in God's Healy 7. I got this word on August 26th of 2010. Guard thy soul, for Satan shall attempt to steal it. Words spoken in humility shall serve your purpose. Do not let thy tongue be thy master. Sin judges, but mercy serves those of the true spirit. Who shall honor thy father in words as well as deeds? Do not praise my name, but my glory. The higher the mountain, the greater the blessing. Do not feel sorrow but joy, for the time of my coming draws near. The angels proclaim my glory, and the prophets announce my return. What was spoken by man shall be completed in spirit. What many have ignored in words shall come to pass in action. No man is of lesser importance than another. Do not be bound by the ways of this world, but by the Spirit of the Father. Thy kingdoms of this world shall end, but my kingdom will last for eternity. Those that ask the right questions shall receive an answer. No man shall find greater glory than to serve the Father. What matters not where you start, but where you finish. Those that ride the wind shall reach their destination. Amen. Amen. So again, you need to put the whole armor of God on. We're in the battle. And as the prophecy says, guard your soul for Satan has, shall attempt to steal it. And I just put that prophecy message up of those, uh, the names of those blotted out of the book of life which made me cry during the video. Mm. I don't know if you saw it yet. No, so yet. again, we're, we're in the latter days and repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read the book of Acts to find out what that means. And again, I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015. Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. God bless. Thank you, Brother Dan. Shalom.